Your major league debut, your first career hit, a grand slam. What did that moment in this debut mean to you? ¿Qué significa ese momento y este debut para ti? Bueno, lo primero es darle gracias a Dios, siempre darle las gracias por todo. En verdad, me siento muy feliz, muy contento de mi trabajo. Y nada, aquí estamos para dar lo mejor de mí, gracias a Dios. Super feliz, super contento. First of all, he's got to thank God, and of course, he's just very happy about everything that's happened and very proud of himself for the work that he's put in. What was going through your mind when you were running those bases? ¿Qué estaba pensando cuando estaba corriendo las bases? <laughs> lo que me salió una sonrisa y pensar mi familia, en verdad. The first. Ellos pensaban, esperaban este momento y aquí estamos, en verdad, y lo logré. He had a big smile on his face as he was rounding those bases and he was thinking of his family because he knows how much it means to them as well. In that moment, bases loaded, you're down by one, full count. What were you trying to do in that moment? ¿Qué estaba tratando de hacer en ese momento? Bueno, en ese momento lo estaba buscando era dar la pelota. Yo estaba ahí para hacer algo. Brian de la Cruz me apuntó, me dijo, este momento es tuyo. Y gracias a Dios conseguimos un honrón en el line. He was looking for a pitch to hit, and boy, did he get it. You also made a fantastic play out in the field in the third inning. I saw you before the game practicing with KJ. How much did that help prepare you for that moment? Uh, ¿Cuánto uh, te ayudaste, preparaste por ese momento um, antes del juego, preparando con KJ? No, duramos uno, unos cuantos segundos. Él me fue a buscar al dogado. Allá, al crujado allá adentro y me dijo, ven, vamos a trabajar un poco aquí atrás de, de cómo se mueve la pelota y todas esas cosas. Y trabajé bien, gracias a Dios. KJ went to get him before the game so they could practice, make sure he knew how to work the wall, and clearly it worked. Jared, before we let you go, how much confidence does this game give to you that you are able to play at this level? ¿Cuánto confianza tiene después de ese juego? Siempre estoy confiado en mí. Yo vengo a dar lo mejor de mí. Tengo muchos años ya... Jugando béisbol profesional y, y aquí estamos, gracias a Dios, y me siento muy contento. He's always had a lot of confidence, guys, and clearly you could see why. Congratulations. And <clears throat> well, on both ends. Uh, obviously, Gerard, you love seeing guys come up with that excitement. And we've been able to see him in spring for a couple of years now. We knew, you know, some of the things that he can do, we think he can potentially do. Uh, he kind of showed the whole package today from the standpoint of, you know, his defense, he runs pretty good, got the power. Um, and and then on the other end of that question, great to get Sandy some runs. Um, a guy that traditionally doesn't seem to get them, uh, but it was good, to, you know, obviously good to get those today. You mentioned also the great defense that he played as well. Obviously the big hit. You've seen him a ton. Just what type of major leaguer do you think he has the potential to be? Well, I think you just see it. Um, I've always compared him, and it's probably not even close to being fair, uh, to Vladdy Sr. For a big guy, remember Vladdy Sr. ran good, threw good, played the outfield well, and that's what you kind of see out of Girard is that big body, but it's like surprisingly pretty athletic in his, in his movements. Another great outing from Sandy. Uh, why do you think he did so well against his Mets offense? Well, Sandy's pretty good against everybody, honestly. If he's making pitches and, and getting where he needs to and counts, looks like they tried to, you know, get after him early. Uh, and, some, you know, we've seen teams do that. Uh, if it's not working, it ends up getting – you get the full dose, right? And his pitch count stays down. He puts the ball on the ground uh, a lot, and he, and he stays out – if he's staying out of trouble. Uh, but there's been teams that have been successful like that too. In your years of baseball, have you seen a more, I guess, memorable debut for a player? I don't know. If you could, probably if I looked all the way back, um, it's been a long time, Christina. I've been <laughs> doing this a long time. Um, but, uh, no, it was it was nice for Gerard. I kind of did a little bit of everything. Uh, with the, you know, the, all, the power is always the main thing that comes up when you talk about a, hit, a player like him. But do you think his defense kind of flies under the radar because of that with – Again, we've seen the arm, his arm he's made plays in the minors. Do you think that kind of flies under the radar? <laughs> Uh, maybe a little bit. I think when you see the size of a guy, you don't look at him as a guy that's going to be a defender. Um, but, again, he he runs better than you would think. Uh, you know, obviously, he gets a bag today. Um, the way, you know, the throwing is good. You know, we, And he's actually he's a guy that can play first, too. Um, 
and we think he got a chance to to be really good over there if we if we want to you know run down that road. So uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of upside with Gerard. Before I guess the at bat, obviously to make pitching change. Did anyone talk? You know, it's be a big moment for a guy making his debut. Did anyone talk to him? Give him any? You know, I'm sure that Marcus is talking to him. I mean, I, I wasn't talking to him about anything like that, but I'm sure Marcus is just like you would any other at bat, uh, just you know, letting him know what you know what what their guy you know that would could do with his pitches, uh, um, and we've seen him very good too. So. You know, obviously, you know, he's a guy that can throw the ball up. He's got good breaking stuff. Uh, uh, you know, a guy that can be really tough on you. You've done, you've seen a lot of young kids and prospects come up in your time managing. What can they do for teams that are maybe still trying to find their footing a little bit? Uh, well, I think any time with young players, you, you you know, if they're the right type and, and handle themselves well, uh, you know, you love seeing those guys do well because you know you see the excitement of being in the big leagues, especially for I think the older guys that have been around for a while. Uh, not that it's stale, but it's it's just like it's day to day, right? And in baseball, you try to stay level. You don't want to get too excited or too, you know, up or down. Um, but the young guys, just knowing that feeling that you had when you started, uh, you don't ever forget that feeling. And it, it, I think it's good for clubs to have a a blend of youth, right, uh, with with veteran players. Obviously, with the I guess injury, you know, situation that kind of lent himself to the opportunity. With you know the way you perform today, maybe tomorrow if things uh, kind of stay as is with the roster. Yeah, I mean, our guys came in today and tried to do something, and they really didn't weren't able to do anything. Uh, and I know they're still testing those guys. Uh, they were masked up all day, so we'll we'll see what it. See where it goes. What about Brian Carlson? Does this make you maybe want to get him back in the lineup then tomorrow? Uh, sure. Why not? Just tell you, send me a lineup. With, <laughs> with the 13 homers in the minors, was he already on the radar, or do you think he might have come up without the injuries and the positive tests? No, I don't think he would have came up without the, you know, the injuries or the positive test. Uh, I shouldn't say positive test, but but the protocol stuff. Uh, but I think. You know, he started off the year in Double A. Played Double A last year. Kind of struggled, really. Kind of went. I wouldn't say backwards, but struggled with Double A. Uh, this year was tearing it up. Moved him to Triple A. Was holding his own. And it, you know, it was. You know, obviously timing is everything. So getting that opportunity. But so I, I probably I would without injuries or anything like that. You know, you're looking at our guys we have in the outfield. You're probably not just bringing him up for no reason. Well, however many years ago, he was one of those. Prospects, top guys, but I guess you know. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that, but it's like, it's for me. It's always been like seeing him immediately. I actually seen him a long time ago, like in instructional league, and he was already hitting the ball in the right center with authority. Uh, wasn't quite as big, uh, and then just kind of kept his name, you know, in your mind when you see those young guys and, and see that. Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't think he would have got off the prospect list, but I guess one bad year, you start making decisions, right? With uh, Donnie, a couple of things of Cooper, Solaire, everything okay with them? Is it just a day? Or? Yeah, just a day. Uh, Soli, you know, and Soli's been in pushing for us, and, and Soli's one of those guys, he would never, you know, never need to, you know, come to you and say, I need a day. He's always going to play, and we got to be careful with him. He's had a little bit of the back. Uh, and he struggled a little bit, and you don't want it to get over the top where he starts changing mechanics, uh, which is a easy thing to do. So we'll be out, but every, everything's okay from the standpoint of like expect him to be ready to go tomorrow. You guys saw 22 pitches, I think, at the sixth inning for three batters. Do you think that had a carryover into the seventh against Bassett? It helped you guys build that big inning before the game soon? Yeah, I don't know. Um, you never know when, it, when you kind of get that but I think you know obviously they get their run there in the, in the bottom right in the sixth and and then Miggy starts that next inning with a hit and I think that always starts it De La Cruz had a good at bat with the walk uh, so you know obviously we got him in a position where you know they his pitch count was up a little bit you know so th the previous inning has something to do with it but I'm not sure you know exactly I mean obviously I don't know their guy so they know that they know their own player.
to God for keeping me healthy, giving me the opportunity to go outside and compete. I mean, yeah, you said it, you know, I think um, they are super aggressive, you know, and they just want to go outside and compete, you know. That's what I was looking for today. Jar Encarnacion, his major league debut, the big Grand Slam one. How happy are you are for him, and also how happy are you to get a little run support? Great, great day for him. I mean, I feel so happy for him, you know, because I saw him before he signed for the Marlins. You know, I think um, he did a great job today. He tried to put the ball in play, you know, and you guys see he get out. He, he hit a grand salami, <laughs> like like we say, you know. But I think um, he did a great job. I think uh, we win the game because he hit a grand slam. Okay. No. Once you, hey, once you get the five runs, do you change your approach on the mound? If it's one nothing or it's two to one, but all of a sudden you get five, do things change for you, Sandy? Every pitch, every pitch, uh, every pitcher feels so happy when they score a lot, a lot of runs to you, you know, and you feel a little bit like comfortable, you know, because you got the, the balance to win the game, you know, and when they score those runs for me, I just say, okay, let's go outside and compete and win this game. Sandy, you've accomplished a lot so far in your career on the mound. Is there something you haven't been able to accomplish yet that you're really eyeing? I know, uh, like I said before, you know, I just want to be able to go outside every fifth day. You know, it doesn't matter how many in I throw. I mean, my mentality is just go deep in the game. Uh, we talk about the Encarnacion's kind of home run, but his throw, I think it was in the second to get Nito at second, at second base. Just what was your reaction when you watched that and how much did that also help you as, again, one base run, one less base runner that could have been? Great throw. I mean, he got a great arm. I mean, I know I know he's going to be the out when, when he throws to the second base. And I mean, he, he cut the ball and he threw the ball so quick, you know, and he made it out. You mentioned, so do you... Remember the first time you met him? I don't know if you guys crossed paths before in the Dominican or anything. Yeah, I remember. I think um, that was in 2014. I mean, he was in, um, in a house, and I went to that house, you know, to meet a couple guy, and I sleep in that house too. I mean, we have a phone night that night, you know, and I remember that day. What was he like then? Was he still the big guy then, or did you could you tell that he was going to become going to become size wise what he is? And yeah, he was big all the time. I think uh, he, the only thing he changed is uh, his weight. <laughs> he is a. Uh, uh, a little like big now, you know, and I mean, I feel so happy for him. Hey, do you feel the energy when young guys get a chance to play? Yeah, for sure. I think everybody's waiting for the opportunity. I think uh, they feel so happy when they call those guys, you know what I mean? They, they get to the field so happy and they play so hard. Where was that when I met him in 2014? When? Where? Uh, in uh, San Isidro. He was in San Isidro there. Yeah. Thank you were going to buy Gerard a suit <laughs> yesterday. Now, now with four runs, are you going to buy What brand are you going to buy him? I can buy a house if he won. <laughs> Yeah, we, we was talking about that like a couple of days ago. I mean, I think um, I lost my, my bet that I made to him today, you know, and I feel so happy for him. Wait, so it was a bet? Yeah, we made a bet. bet. I mean, I told him if you get a he or homer, I'm going to buy something to you. So it's going to be a suit? So it's going to be a suit. I don't know. <laughs> Did he get the pick what it is, or was that just Any, anything he won? <laughs> what day did you tell him that? Huh? When did you tell him that? Like two days ago. Friday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was in here, in the clubhouse? Uh, no, in the, uh, in the bus. In the bus? Okay.